Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hi guys. It's Jen and Becky. Hi. You're, uh, you're Heavenly Hoydens over here. <laughs> um, and we got a timer going. We're ready to do this. It's been a minute. Becky got her nose job. Looks great. Look at that. And apparently she does this incredibly bougie thing called breathing now. Yeah. True story. So, so we're very happy for her. Very happy for you. Glad you're okay. Glad yes. everything came out all right. Um, so we got some stuff to show you. Um, again, we're still working on this one. Actually stitching something. Well, I'm starting to work back on it's cool, a man. project. It's cool. Because we, uh, we went to the gym. We're starting back at the gym. Mm -hmm. We're trying to go, um, go, you know, less, less fat, yeah. more not fat. Yeah. I, I was trying to find something funny. It didn't work. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so what are some things that I have finished? Um, fully finished, fully finished. One of the Shannon Christine things Super I started. Cute. I'm going to put a little back on from my, and I gave that to my husband because the girls didn't want it. Fine. He liked it. He liked it. So it's okay. That's it's cute. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, another fully finished object that I got over here, because you know I got all these bags, right? Because I can't stop, won't stop. Also, got this. Very cute. Mm. Very cute. I was going to let you look at it. Here. Yeah. Um... And that was, um, da, 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 oh, here it is. It's the shepherd's bush pattern. That one's called heart. Now those sheep buttons are Debbie mum buttons. Okay. And I got those at a quilt store. Margie's quilt store to be exact. Yes. Da, da, da. And I think it's super cute. And, um, they're a little bit looser on there than I want them to be. See mm -hmm. they're a little, but I yeah. tried really hard to make them tight. Hmm. So we're going to, hopefully, it'll be fine. Yeah. So what's in this bag? Let's see. I shoved all these full of stuff. Anything I've started? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so it's the fully finished stuff. What I am, one of the reasons I really wanted to do this was, is it tilting forward or is it just me? I feel like it is tilting forward. Hang on. Um, I think we got the lighting a little better because <laughs> you things aren't so blinded. But um, now the little... Thing we have holding it is like, ooh. but um, we're doing our best here. Good thing we're professionals. Okay, all right. Um, as I finished the falling <laughs> roses or the dead lady cross stitch, but I finished it. Woo! And I love that. Well. Trying to get it a little. Yeah. So the variegated is what I did. Everything variegated is what I did. Go this way a little bit. Linda. This way? Yeah. Up. And now uh, go up so they can see all the up. Up, up, up. There we go. Yeah. I was going to put something like a saying, but there really wasn't enough room. Yeah. And I just decided to leave it. Um, I do think she started it wrong way because there's not much room for framing. I, am, I will, I do have an opportunity this weekend to take it to the Crafty Framer in Largo, so I'm super excited about that, which is why we wanted to make this, because about to take it to the frame shop. Yes. But I think it turned out great. I think it turned out, I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm happy to have a lavender only sampler, honestly, and I appreciate the woman who started it. I don't know who she is. Um, may she rest in peace, whoever she is, mm -hmm. but I like the whole, you know... It was, it was fun. Another thing, it's not fully finished, but back to, here, here, out of frame, bro. Oh, out of frame. Um, is the putting things down. Mm hmm And I really was not enjoying the temperature one. Yeah. I really wasn't. And I think I don't do well with cells. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of a cell. I love it. I love the fox and rabbit cells. Mm hmm But here's the thing. I, it feels like homework, and then it's not fun. And it feels like i got to keep up. And that's just how this temperature thing was. So even though i got this huge piece of fabric, oh, wow. what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make this, the, the January, I think I'm going to make that into a bookmark. Yeah. And then i got this fabric for something else. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do 
or we would don't. But this is what we. But it's huge. Like that's a big old piece of fabric. That's the the witch, witchy garden lady. Yeah. She's got some cute stuff. She's got a lot of cryptid. Mm -hmm. um, what's really funny, I think her pattern's like there's like a cat in a window like watching Bigfoot. Like it's stuff like that. It's pretty uh -huh. cute. I love that. It's pretty cute. Um, so, you know, if you're not having a fun time doing it, seriously, there's like a billion patterns out there. Mm -hmm. like, like just, just don't. Yeah. Just put it down. Um, I talked to my husband about the Wizard's Gate because uh -huh. I'm really not having fun with that. But he really, really likes it. It is more than halfway done. I am going to push through and finish that one. Yeah. Um, so in the joy, what do we have here? Um, what we have here is, check it out, it's the Diet Coke. Oh, yay. We're definitely purging that through. Yes. Isn't that cute? That is super it cute. It looks great on that fabric. It does. I super, love that. Super excited about that. Um, but this was being made in memory of my husband's father, who loved Diet Coke. One of my favorite stories was this one time. He watched the baby for me so <laughs> I could go to the doctor, which was great. And I came back, and her whole shirt, like, and she was like one of those kind of babies. She was eight months old. She was eight months old. <laughs> and it was just brown. And I was like, almost looked like, you ever like see when a kid like gets a bloody lip and then it kind of mixes with this. And then I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, was her mouth bleeding? Like, this is what I'm going. I'm going, of course, worst case scenario. Of course. I was like, did something happen? You know? And he's like, no. I was like, what's this? What's on her shirt? He goes, ah, I gave her Diet Coke. She loves it. She drank almost a whole bottle. <laughs> to not tell all you want but if grandpa mochi was gonna do it mochi was gonna do it mm -hmm. and i just had to acquiesce yeah um so that's what we got going on there what else do we got oh you haven't seen this you haven't seen this you guys i have <laughs> been playing with my poison pixie my queen Anne's lace and i finished the wings look at that I yes got the wings all finished Oh so I just got to do a skirt, but it looks so pretty, pretty. Yes. Love it. So, Poison Pixie by um, Nora Corbett, and this is the Queen Anne's Lace. I have another one, which is a Monkford, which is one, as soon as I saw it, I bought it for myself because I was like, I'm doing this. I'm making this for myself. And Mom's like, that one's a little weird. Yeah, <laughs> so am I. Yeah. Um, have you met me? <laughs> just wondering. You were there. Um, so... Super, super excited. So she's more than halfway done. Cool. So I'm super excited about that. Let's see what else I've got in here. Da, 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 da. No, this one's an empty one. Better fill that with something. Oh, I've been working on my Stony Creek hometown Halloween. So, got my little ghosty. Got that. I got the sides done. I love that. So, that's super cute. You're going to have to help me out because I really yeah. can't see it. There we go. All right. So the ghosty is new, and I got the grass done at the bottom and all the lace on the side. So, which took longer than anticipated, honestly. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's just oh. a little backstage, but for some yeah. reason, it took me a hot minute. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know, I did start this. I started the aliens. Oh, you did? I did. The Sesame Street aliens. Just real quick. Boop, boop. I don't want to... And this is by The Martians by Pixel Power. And I didn't do much. I just really wanted to start it. And I just got a couple yips. And I know it is darker than I thought it was going to be on this fabric. But I, I still like it. Oh, yeah. It's just a yip. It's just one yip. There we go. Yep. Because I love that, as, though. as you know, those who know. Was able to yip, 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 uh huh, uh huh, uh -huh. yep. Yeah. So that was, that was them. They were great. I love them. So did start that. Oh, sorry, sorry, Becky Bush. It, it's okay. 
Sorry, sorry. So I'm gonna put these back. <laughs> this is cool. This is um the crafty framer. Um, we give they chose like if there's a square in there that's 14 counts. Oh, that's so cool. Count. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, cool. that is so cool. It is cool. You want it? Yeah. Bucket. Thank you. Present for Bucket. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna something. see her this weekend, so you know I can get another one. Yay. What else is here? That's just empty. That's empty. Did I work on any of this stuff? Answer. Uh, no. No, I did not. What else do I have in here? I'm just looking through my stuff now. I'm not just pilfering. <laughs> these are these are to make the ones the girls did like. Ah. I did finish. <gasps> I didn't mean to say her name. Sorry, boo boo. <laughs> you just you can edit that out. Yeah. Um, I did finish <laughs> my little third, third baby. Number three. Who's turning seventeen next week? Rude. Rude. Um, but I'm very proud of her. She's a good kid. She's a good kid. I have been blessed to be able to call her mine child. And, yes. oh, I didn't show you this. I started flying lessons. Oh my gosh. By Silver Creek Samplers here. I'm going to take this out of here. Because there's actually enough glare that it's not showing up too well. Though. Showing up. So where you can there actually see things. So we somehow caught the right lighting. Woohoo! But this is a fabric I got, again, from Brick City Cross Stitch. And that little, my little, that little kitty girl, that is from um, Brownie. I want to say it. It's Brownie something. She's on yeah. Etsy. And she does needle miters and her cute is freaking Dickens. Yes. And this is... Color is 14 Vetrius. 14 Vetrius. Uh huh. Whatever that is, that's what that is. I just thought it was a nice little witchy witchy something. So I started that one. I didn't tell you I started that one. No, you didn't. There you go. So, some of these I just really wanted to just start it, and I just did. Nope, that's just a frame. That is, I don't know if I've shown you my progress on this one. This one went to the stitch day with um, Brick City Cross Stitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are my scissors <laughs> magnetized to the back. <laughs> but I got the deer. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So, and then they, they were selling these little guys. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Isn't yeah. he cute? I like, thought it was a nice adorable. little Aslanny or maybe Marshmallow made a mine. <gasps> I think I showed you guys that. But that's what I got on the Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Which is monochromatic. So it's just, which is icicle. Um, creek. No, that's different. Icicle by um, Week Sky Works. Mm. So that's pretty cute. How are we on time, baby? We are 6.53 left. Six minutes, baby. Mm -hmm. We're trying to keep it popping. And, oh yeah. Now, speaking of, okay, I think I've got two more things that I've been working on. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was working on the witch, the woman told in control. I actually did do something on that. You go grab that, Becky. Mm -hmm. Becky's the little best. I started on the Biscorno. Um, which you need that, because I told you that. Yes. Um, the Hoot Biscorno by Lizzie Kate. This one? Biscorno by Lizzie Kate. Um, just literally, it's a square. That's all I've got done. It's a square. But I started it. And it's on linen, which is difficult for me. But I'm doing it anyway because it came with the pattern. And we don't waste fabric around here. Precisely. Um, now the one that my sister really wanted me to make for her. I make for her because I love uh, Glendon Place, which woman in total control here. These are all specialty threads. Ooh. But that's what makes them so pretty, pretty. Yeah. But I did, I finished Look the um, spider and got the hat started. So. Cool. That's where we're at we with that. Working on that. I'm supposed to be making two of those. One for my mom, one for my sister. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. And the last thing I have been working on, and I ain't much to it, 
the Lola Crow. I don't know if you guys follow any of her stuff. She has some super cool Kaimith Buki sows and everything. And she's doing one called the Deadly Aquarium. Um, I have all the pieces. I haven't even finished the frame. Um, however, it's going to be so cute when it's done. But back to the sows, like it feels like homework. And yeah. I, I think I was like, I really want the pattern. I like the idea of it coming out a piece at a time. I don't want to have to be done. Yeah. Um, and so we have, that's all I've got done is one corner and. That looks amazing though on that fabric. It looks really good. Now we have a friend, her name is Danielle, she's fantastic, I tell you, fantastic. Yeah, put it. Mm. Um, thank you. Uh, but she, um, she's done, she's done with the frame, of course she is. <laughs> she's done with the frame and her choice of fabric is also really good. And I don't know what color it is, but it's like, um. It's kind of a, here, can you see? It's kind of like a, this color green, okay. okay? And a little bit, a little bit more muted, not so blah, blah, um, a little bit more muted. And then it has, as, as it's um, modeling on it, it, it has like brown. So it kind of looks like either possibly dirty glass on the aquarium or maybe oh, some yeah. dirty water, which kind of adds to the deadly aquarium. I like that. Super, super cute. But you can still get this Lola Crow Deadly Aquarium Sal on Etsy. And it's hmm. really cute. She even has, like, for every creature she puts in there, she has, like, what they, like, this is a, like, she had seagulls, and this is what seagulls do. Oh, that's and cool. And so, yeah, she had a moray eel and things like oh, that. Neat. Super cute. So, um, so yeah. That's what I got. Did I get anything else? I'm trying to think. No, I was like, I got some threads, but I think you guys have seen all my threads. Honestly, this is my bag of specialty threads. It's not probably the best way to store your specialty threads, <laughs> but it's the only way I got right now. So, oh, and I didn't start it yet, but I'm going to, my hula girl. We got two minutes, baby. <laughs> um, this is a free, if you go to um, Nora Corbett's website, and she's for free. Oh, cool. And this is called Leilani the Hula Dancer by Nora Corbett. And um, I repurposed these didn't print properly. But she's the little hula girl. That's the top, and then, of course, the skirt at the bottom. And I don't think you could see this last time, but we might be able to see it in this light. Look at this fabric. Ooh. Can you see it? It's the beach. Yeah, you can see it better than this light. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is so, so cool. So even, like, pin, like, even doing her in the middle, I could still get some of the clouds and the sand. Yeah. And I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, she doesn't have a shirt on. I think I'm going to make a shirt. Yeah. And you're going to, this is crazy, okay, because it traditionally, yes, the hula was done with no shirt, but this is not a traditional hula skirt. And for some reason, it bothers me <laughs> that it's not a traditional hula skirt and she doesn't have a shirt on. I don't know why. I know that's dim, okay? I'm aware that it's dim. However, it's where I'm at. It's where I'm at. But you like things to match. You like things yeah. to, the consistency. The, I like congruence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Consistency, that's the word. And it just doesn't feel that way. Yeah. And so, um... That's what we're going to do here. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be my next start. Like, I need to start anything. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to do it. And the only other start I have, which is really funny, is you see it? Yeah. This is it. <laughs> That's it. Um, this is actually one over one instead of over two because it's going to be too big. Oh. And it's still not, it's still going to be smaller than perhaps it should be. Um, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to make that for you. Oh, yes. She's like, yeah, you are. You freak. Why haven't you made yeah. it already? So that's what we're going to do. It's on. It's in the cross, uh, just cross-stitch Halloween 2021 collector tradition. And it is It is by Rosewood Manor. Of course it is. Of course. I'm going to put blackbirds on a pumpkin. Ah. And this is what it looks like. But I'm going to do it over one so it will fit on the bag. That's awesome. And this is for Danielle. Yeah. Because she started stitching on it, hated it, and gave me the bag. Because she's like, well, the only reason to have the bag is to stitch on it. And yeah. I was like, okay, we can still use the bag. But she didn't want to use the bag with a pattern on it. So I was like, okay. Okay. 
Well, we'll put that on for you. So, yep. So that's what we're gonna do for her. Um, I don't think she cares. We're at eight seconds, baby. <laughs> we're just trying to keep it from the camera going weird, like it does sometimes. But, yes. at any rate, guys, this is just what I've been working on. What I finished. Um, I will let you know if I find anything amazing at Brick yes. City. Um, I might be going to Brick City. We might be able to stop. Might mm. not. But if I see anything crafty framer, I will absolutely show you guys. It's super cool. Yes. She's super cool. Maybe she'll even let me tape some of it so you can Ooh. see the inside. Yeah. She's pretty cool. Um, so, you guys, um, show us what you're working on. Yes. We would love to see it. If you saw anything here that you want to know more about, let us know in the comments. We'll let you know. If you like this crazy, crazy stuff we do, subscribe, <laughs> like, all that great stuff. And again, thank you to my fabulous editor who I love so much. Yes. And you guys are awesome. Do your best to be your best. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.